Hello, and welcome to Anglican Answers 1509. As you can tell by the full facial hair, we've been gone for a little bit. Traveling at this time of the year becomes uh, inordinate uh, for all intents and purposes. So we've, we've been away, and for that we apologize. But that leads me into what I would like to talk about today very, very briefly. We have the holiday seasons approaching. We have uh, Christmas coming up. New Year's following, and then of course all of the other uh, special holiday events uh, in between those days and subsequently shortly thereafter. So uh, we're not going to in, uh, inundate you with something heavy uh, for this period of time. We will probably be gone until after the first of the year, so start looking for another one of the podcasts at that time. We will, at that time, take up what I had previously mentioned, I believe was a couple of weeks ago. We're going to talk about the nature of uh, discussion, debate, argumentation uh, in a very uh, cursorial manner. It's going to be very basic, but we're going to talk about things such as proof, um, uh, verification, etc. Uh, et uh, so keep your eye out for that. Stay tuned and uh, let me then move into what I would like to say to you at this time, uh, at this point in the year. We want to thank you all for watching Anglican Answers 1509. We know that you have very busy schedules. You have other things that you can do with your time. So any time that you spend uh, watching, commenting uh, on what we post, is greatly, greatly appreciated. We can't thank you enough. Uh, this is not a funded uh, podcast. We don't ask for your money. Not We don't want your money. Uh, the only thing that we ask is that you watch. Because the more that we know we're touching on subjects that appeal to you, the more we realize that we have something to say. When that dries up, we're going to go away. Uh, I don't need to see myself say these things on Facebook or on a podcast. Uh, I don't need to hear myself talk. I can look in the mirror and say all this to myself if I really want to. No, we think we have something that we can contribute to you, and we hope that you feel the same way. And by the comments that we've received... Uh, and the viewership that we have noticed, uh, we think that there are a number of you out there that appreciate what we're doing, and we thank you very, very much. Um, you humble us by your attention, and more than anything else, uh, it's gratifying to know that there are people within the broader Christian community, whether you're an Anglican or not, people within the broader Christian community that appreciate uh, a ministry that engages in more than one area of the Christian life, philosophic, historical, theological, etc. So we really thank you. Uh, that's what we wanted to say in, in this very brief podcast. There's one other thing that I would like to mention before we sign off uh, for the 2019 year. And that is this. Some of you uh, may not know that I'm a former Marine. Let me see if I can get my bona fides. See? And there you go. And as a former Marine, um, before I was medically discharged for injuring my back, uh, in the 10 years that I served in the military, I would probably say that 75% of that time was away from my home area. It may have been in the United States, but it was still away from my comfort zone. I was not in my neighborhood. I was not with my friends. And of that 75%, 50%, 40% um, of that time was spent in foreign countries. I say that for this reason. If you know anyone, if you know somebody that knows somebody that is in the military, if you could... Take a minute, take a, a, a three by five card, a postcard, um, a Christmas card, 
um, a hello card, any kind of card that you can uh, that you can find, something you can make up on your own from your from your PC, from your Mac. It doesn't matter, and just jot down a thought, a note, a sentiment. We know that you're away from home. We know that you're away from your family. We want to simply express our appreciation for your service uh, to our country. Signed, so-and-so. And I mentioned it for this reason. Even though the time has changed since I was in the military 30-some-odd years ago, being away from home still affects all service members. Now, I can tell you from personal experience that the family members that are assigned to overseas assignments try their best to make single people, men and women, feel as though they're not alone. But this becomes a very lonely time in a soldier's life. And even though we have all sorts of mass communication, all even though we have all sorts of media, even though there are numerous organizations and ministries that reach out to people, there is still, there is still an aching loneliness. And as a priest, I can tell you where that derives, but I will leave that aside for the moment. But there is still an aching loneliness in the hearts and souls of service members that are overseas or even away from their homes within the United States. And if we could take just a moment to let them know that they are not forgotten, they are not appreciated. You don't have to send them anything. You have to send them a crystal. You don't have to send them money or a gift certificate or anything. Just send them your thoughts. Let them know that they are not forgotten. You have no idea how much that lifts the spirits of those who are deployed outside of their own comfort zone, outside of their own neighborhoods, if you will. I used to look forward to anything from anybody when I was stationed overseas. Of course, we wanted it to be, you know, we want it to be our family members, but the fact of the matter is, if I got a letter from a stranger, I would have appreciated it equally with getting a letter from anyone else. Because it let me know that I wasn't alone. That somebody was out there thinking about me while I was doing what I believed in my heart was the right thing. To serve our country, to defend the Constitution of the United States, and to provide the freedoms that we have here to do a podcast like this. I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and the happiest of New Year's. Be safe, stay healthy, and remember, engage continually, challenge when confronted, and always think critically. God bless and Merry Christmas. Thank you.